I'd like to show you now how Ludwig can make an arrangement for instruments that you choose. Let's suppose it's Christmas time and uh, we've got some budding musicians in the family and we'd all like to play together, but we need some music. So what can Ludwig do for us? Well, what I've done is I've picked one of the songs from its database, Hark the Herald Angels Sing, one we all know. And what I'm going to do is input the instruments that we have in the family and then Ludwig will make an arrangement for us. So I click on a company with ensemble. Now I add the instruments that we have. So we have a budding flautist. Let's click on flute. Okay. And we have a clarinet player. And I'd like to play my double bass. So let me click on click on bass. So we've got three instruments, flute, clarinet, and acoustic bass. Now, before Ludwig makes the arrangement, what we can do is specify exactly the difficulty of the arrangement. So the flautist is a beginner, so let's click on beginner. Clarinet player is rather good. Well, OK, let's click on medium for him. And, well, OK, I'm going to be a beginner with my double bass. That sounds about right. Um, I don't think we want any drums for the time being. OK, we're ready. So once I click on OK, Ludwig will make the arrangement for us. It just takes a few seconds. So here's Ludwig's arrangement of Hark the Herald Angels Sing. You can see the green line across the musical score indicates exactly where we are, which I find personally very helpful indeed. And that's actually a pretty nice arrangement. Supposing you wanted to practice your parts individually, you could play along using Ludwig as a kind of karaoke machine. So, for example, if I wanted to mute the flute, that sounds good. Let's go right back to the beginning and just hear that. So I've just muted the flute there, so we can only hear the double bass and the clarinet. So if you wanted to practice the flute part, you could very, very easily. And again, you can see the green line going across the screen indicates exactly where you are on the score. OK, let's bring up the flute again. And likewise, you could do the same with the other instruments. If you wanted to just practice the double bass, you can have the double bass as a solo instrument. You can hear it plodding along at the back there. OK, we're back to the beginning again. And of course, if you wanted to print out your parts, you can very easily. You don't need to gather around the computer. So just click here and go into Print Parts. And if you just wanted to print out the flute part, you could, you could do. Or if you wanted to print out all the parts together. You could just click on those and there you can see you've got all three instruments together on one score. So let's just go back to the beginning. Now supposing you wanted to add a, a rhythm section now to this to uh, make it go with a bit of a kick. So let me go, go back to the arrangement and this time okay we've got our three instruments flute clarinet and bass and I'm going to add a rhythm section so I'm going to click on rhythm instruments and drums and click on OK and now we've got to choose the style of the rhythm instruments well as I said before there are over 50 different styles you can choose from um, Everything from the Beguine to Funk to uh, New Orleans. Um, OK, well, I'm going to choose something a bit bizarre. I'm going to choose the rumba. So now we've got an interesting clash of uh, an English Christmas carol and, well, Caribbean rumba. Let's hear what Ludwig makes of this. It's 
actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So there you go, Ludwig has made a wonderful arrangement for us to make our Christmas go with a sweet.